Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to The Long Dark and Chapter 3, Crossroads Elegy. I want to try and get more sleep so that I heal up some more. I mean, I suppose I should have made a cup of tea, actually, because the, the well-rested bonus. That actually helps, doesn't it? Yeah. Three hours left on there. Let's go to you, and we'll go to Cook. Actually, you know what? Uh, back. I'm going to go with water first. Cook that, and then pass time until it's ready. Now, what I'm wondering... Take that a minute. If I go in here, and I cook... Can I cook the tea with non-potable water and then it sort of do two birds with one stone? Apparently not. Drink that down. Apparently that is not a thing. But I need to get some more water anyway. So we'll go in here, boil water there, half a litre. Cook 17 minutes of that past time until it's ready as now potable water so drink that down as well and I have now got all of my moisture back and no I've got improved rest as well I've got three hours left on the campfire so I'm going to go for two hours of sleep and hope that that alongside the improved rest will fully restore me full energy Fully, um, he yeah, there we go. That's much better. Right, we've got an hour and a half left on the campfire. Food, 1,764 calories left on our giant fish. How heavy is that now? Three and a half kilos. That's looking a lot more like it. We've got a 1,000 calories left on it. And it's only three and a half kilos, down from 10. That is a lot better. Right, I'll pick that one up water over here. I've got half a litre. Down a little bit on moisture, but that's all right. And morning is broken. Is there still a major storm going on? There is no kind of storm at all, which is great at the moment. I wonder if I can shoot a rabbit with a rifle. It's a bit overkill, really. Oh, there was one thing. It's still bitterly cold out here. There was one thing that I wanted to do. That wool wrap for the ears. Have you noticed that Looks that like one... a new day is dawning. Yeah, a new day is dawning. Have you noticed that we, we lost... We had a message to say that we lost that when I wasn't paying attention to it. I didn't know that it was even a thing that it would disappear. This one's on 96. That one's down to 55. It would appear that getting bitterly cold... Damages our clothing, and I didn't even realize this was a thing. And that's why my warmth bonus has been dropping. Actions. I can't repair that without a cured rabbit pelt and cured gut as well. So that one we just have to wear until it's dead. Although already it's it's down, so wear that one instead. Uh, you here. You could really do with some repairing. Actions. I've got no cloth left. That's not helpful. Right. We'll just carry on as we are then. Need to head out here. There's a load of rabbits over there. I'm going to leave those rabbits. I'm going to ignore them. And we just want to... Well, it's, it's, lit. it's this direction. It's straight this way. Up that hill towards that radio tower. Wherever that might be. I suspect once we get up to the radio tower, young Molly is going to give us the bell. Have we chat with us. Tell her she's got things she wants us to do. But now that the storm has abated. There are... The issues... I knew I heard something. This is why I'm always nervous whenever I hear something. This is why I'm always nervous. Always nervous. He's coming towards me. Why is he coming towards me? Do I smell? No, I don't.
I don't smell. Why is he walking towards me? Why would he even do that? Run. Just run away. We cannot take on a bear unless we can get up high somewhere that he can't get. We've got no hope of taking on a bear. Right, he's up there. You see him on top of that hill. There, he was definitely walking towards us, but he's not anymore. Uh, flares, I don't think, scare off a bear. So, we've got nothing. I need to go this way. Which means I need to go right across his tracks. I gotta go up here. He's over there. There he is. I see him over there. I need to avoid him. Definitely need to stay away from him. He will be out and nibbling on... Ooh. Can I go up here and shoot him? I'm really cold. Uh... Getting somewhere up here so that I could try and shoot him seems like a good idea. But I'm thinking it's probably not. I'm thinking it's probably actually a really, really foolish idea. So we're going to head down this way. Try to stay down the hill a bit from him. Go along here. I'm going to grab sticks as I go. So I can make a fire up the top because I'm already getting cold. Do it quickly. Yeah. Now he's over there somewhere. Oh, that's a good job. We didn't meet him outside last night, or we'd have been in serious trouble. We'd have been in some serious juju. Bad juju. Not just juju. Bad juju. I don't know if I can hear him or not. Where is he? Where has he gone? Running attracts attention. Alright, he's over there in the woods. Leave him alone. Just completely leave him alone and we should be okay. I don't know if going up... Right, well, going up the road was a daft idea. But I got this. I got this. Wait, what? What? Oh, I didn't reload. I didn't Get reload. Back. I didn't reload. I didn't reload. I, I need. There. I feel my hands. I got to reload. That's the problem. I forgot about that. I re reloaded! I reloaded! Why didn't you shoot? Okay, he didn't take it with him, but I have had them take it with him before. Uh, yeah, you can stop doing that. These guys are tough. No. Okay, he's got the thingy on him. Torn clothing, affliction, major bruising. And he's bleeding. He's bleeding badly. My health is down. Yeah, you're, oh, you, never you... You can stay so there, old. mate. Uh, mate? He's, he's not my mate. He's a wolf. He's a dangerous wolf. Hopefully he's a dead wolf. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch over to the revolver. And then, if he comes down towards me... I should have realised that there would be wolves up here. That was like, you know, the sort of thing that you'd expect, really, isn't it? <laughs> right. We'll leave them be. Now, is this Radio a hut tower. I can rest in? So I have a chance, at least. Ah! There's another dead person in there. Can I get in here? First up. Because what I'm thinking is I might be able to use this to hide from the bear. How do I even get in here? Could I use this? Yeah. Oh, no, I can't. Right. 
No, I can't shoot the bear through the fence. That's what I was thinking. This would be great. I could shoot the bear through the fence. More bodies, Molly. I reckon it's Molly that's doing this. All right, there's nothing on there. There's more arrows. Did you hear that? I'm certain I just heard a bear growling. That's not something that I want to hear. Ooh. <gasps> oh, yes. Look at all this firewood. Never know. Could end up being useful. Right. We've got more food in now. I've got a hacksaw. I've got a supply bin here. Okay. Nice. Nice. More flare shells. No, I don't want those. Fire logs. Right. I have got boatloads of fuel in here. Let's go in here. I'm keeping this revolver drawn and ready. I do not. can only hope the radio in here is in better shape than everything else in the valley. Yeah, I do not want to risk bad jujus. Don't think we can build a fire in here by the look of it. Alright, we got, we got a lot of stuff to search. I'll light a lamp in a second. There's another firearm cleaning kit there, which is good. I've got a bed in here. And I'm warming up anyway, so I don't need a fire. Although, if I want to cook, I need a fire. Uh, let me just see if I'm allowed to light a fire. Cannot start campfire indoors. And I don't have anything else. So, the only way I'm going to be able to cook anything is if I build fire outside. Or we just... Rifle ammunition. Well, this stuff will come in handy. Ooh. Right, we'll get, a, we'll get a light going, and then we need to have a look around and try and find there's a radio in here somewhere. Where's that? Get a light going in here so that we can see things a little bit better. Work gloves. I'll take it. Uh, well, they're ragged. But take them anyway. We've got a marine flare. Now, yeah, I've not really had any use for those. They're, they haven't seemed to benefit me in the slight Flare shells. These have benefited me. Revolver ammunition. Take some of that. Don't mind if I do. And... Is there anything else in here? That's a time card punch machine type thingy. I don't want to leave. No, I don't want to leave. It's, it's, it's cold and horrible out there. So we'll force this one open. We'll have a look. We'll look through all the lockers. We'll look through everything. See what ammunition and stuff we can get. I would like to see if at some point... I can take I I down can a bear. This. Right, a decent ski jacket. That might be a step up. Uh, probably they won't. That one won't be. I will take the food. What else have we got? We've got... Uh, well, i got a firearm cleaning kit. And then I've got a sewing kit. I'll take that one for a minute. I probably won't need it because I've got one on me, haven't I? Um... What else have we got? We've got an old computer down there. Chair. Seems to be anything. Oh, we got a little bit of accelerant. That's not going to hurt in the slightest. Uh, I'm looking for clues for anything that we might want that we might be able to use in around here. There's nothing in the filing cabinet. There will probably... Ooh. Revol There's a lot of revolver cartridges, a lot of ammunition in this little hut. Quite know why that is. Pleasant Valley Collectible Part 3. It all happened during a storm, so we'll never know exactly what the hell went on out what went on out there. All we do know is that we're cut off from the highway now. Tons and tons of rocks stand between us and the rest of Great Bear. An earthquake? Maybe. Alright. Something Ooh. The forest talkers seem to be wrapped up in the local pol politics of present history, sir. So Side. Tall tales. Forest Talkers. History of Pleasant Valley. Search for more information about their activity in the region. Mission completed. Investigate the tall tales you find in books around Pleasant Valley. So I've got that one left to do. We're three of four on that one, and then that's it. And we've done all the other side quests. Aftermath. Brought healing and respite to the people. Your work at Community Hall is complete. Do what you need to do before leaving Pleasant Valley. Go to Signal Hill, leave the commute. Oh, use the radio. 
do what we need to do before we leave the valley. So, I mean, he did say, didn't he? He said uh, somewhere, was it up there? Was it the mining road, the, the old mine, whether we could get through there? We've already gone up around there. We haven't really looked up there. We've looked around the rest of this area. And now we're up on top. So there isn't actually a huge amount more of stuff that we got to do here before we're, we're ready to leave and re re ready to move on. We're not ready to move on yet. I wasn't actually planning to leave just yet. I, I kind of like, I, I, I was just getting into it. And we're running to the end of the, the whole story mode thing and, and, and we're not going to have any more. The revolver cartridge. That, oh, now we're talking rifle cartridge. I like the rifles. I like, well, the, the rifle cut. Not that I can shoot to save my life, but, um, yeah, it, it, it's at least nice to have a go at it, I suppose. Grab that one. And nothing in there. And then you. Nothing in there either. Okay, nothing else. I've got everything in around that bit. We searched everything in there, so it's stuff in his office. Herbal tea. I'm guessing she's going to ring us at some point. You know who I mean. You know who I mean. You never know. Could end up being useful. Tomato soup, peaches, peanut butter is 900 calories a jar, so we will take that stuff. The other we're not going to take for a minute. We will, before we leave the valley, make sure we are properly loaded up on food. And I mean properly Hope loaded up. nobody needs this anymore. Leave the bandage, leave the scrap metal. Next one, combat pants. We'll leave those. Matches. I'll take some of them. We'll leave the bandage. I'll take the cloth, though. Save me having to strip out any more. Ooh. Yeah, I, you know, we've used a flashlight before, and it didn't really do us a lot of good, because when the only time you can use it is during the electrical surges, and didn't really seem to, like, do us any... It, like, there was no real benefit to it. Looks like this has been here a while. A bit more soda. Right, there's nothing else other than the radio. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna try. <sighs> yep. The radio's sure dead. Well, that trip was a waste. <sighs> I should get some shut-eye. Strike off for the mine Father Tom mentioned in the morning. It's time to say bye to Pleasant Valley. Yeah, I got a feeling that this isn't going to be the end. Not yet. I, something's about to happen to us. I reckon Molly's going to come back and do something now, isn't she? That's what's going to happen next. Huh? The radio. It's working. Ah, we got one of the geomagnetic thingy. Damn. Why can't I get anything? Come in. This is Perseverance News. Hello? Come in. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Is this the radio station at Perseverance Mills? Can you hear me? We need help. There's some kind of quarantine situation. Hello? Mackenzie. What do you mean quarantine? Mackenzie, is that you? Is there a doctor with you? We need a doctor. Or, or medical Shit. assistance. Anything. I can hear him, but he can't hear me. We're cut off. You're alive. Damn it, Mackenzie. You're alive. And on your way to Perseverance Mills. I've got to get there. Okay. And Electricity. Must be reacting to the lights in the sky. Yes, answer the phone. What is it, Molly? We have a lot in common, you and I. How's that? We both left our men behind. We both like to be alone. We're both hiding from our pasts. I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. I didn't kill him, you know. I wanted to. So many times. I just never had the courage. And as bad as it got at times, at least I wouldn't be alone. Being alone would be worse. That's what I told myself. I don't judge you, Molly. I didn't kill him, but I may as well have. I watched while the wolves surrounded him. I knew what was coming. 
I had a rifle in my hands. I could have helped them. Molly. It all happened in slow motion, you know, like a ballet. They were so quiet and confident, like there was no other way it could end. And I just stood there, frozen. He was yelling at me to shoot, but I couldn't. They circled. And then they were on him, like a force of nature. Molly, why are you telling me this? Because it's important for someone to know. For someone to know what? That I don't regret it. Not for a second. The convict, outside with the arrows in his back. That your handiwork too? Yep. They're all gonna pay now, Astrid. Who are? All of them. We've been in the background, in the shadows, invisible, overlooked for too long. Uh-uh, not anymore. I'm not sure revenge is the answer, Molly. <laughs> Maybe not. But it'll do for now. <sighs> Feels good to be on this side of the hunt. So I'm making up for lost time. Take care of yourself, Doctor. You too, Molly. Tell me one last thing. Your pilot. The one you left behind? You one of the good ones? Yes, he is. But things are... complicated between us. Let's just say I wouldn't want to find him with an arrow in his back. Then I hope to never meet him. It's been good talking with you, Astrid. For a little while, you took the loneliness away. I hope you find what you're looking for. I hope you can help those people up in Perseverance Mills and... find some peace for yourself. Thank you, Molly. I hope you can find some peace, too. Okay. So. Molly is... Apparently, running around, hunting down any men she can find and putting arrows in their back. Now, is it just some men or is it all men? I wasn't quite sure about that. My, my immediate concern is I'm a little bit worried about the preacher and the survivors back at the village hall. But I'm assuming she had already gone in and done the dirty on them if that was her intention. So, um, I'm, I'm going to make the assumption that they are safe at the moment and we don't need to worry about them. Now... We've got all of this going on, all of these lights and everything, which means that we could... Well, this stuff will come in handy. Use this one. Flashlights come to life during the Aurora. So, I've now got a flashlight that I can use, just for a bit. It's got a bit of battery power on it. Uh, my concern is that outside here, we're going to have all sorts of nasty critters running around so we ought really to go back to bed and and get a little bit more rest but there doesn't seem to be a great deal left to do the sky out here so brilliant yeah see we got the dudes with the arrows there really doesn't seem to be a lot left to do out here other than wander off, but we know that the Aurora can have a bit of a dodgy effect on animals, so I'm a little bit concerned about what might happen. I mean, this, this is quite beautiful. It's quite wonderful up here. Turn that one off a minute. Go out onto the edge here. So that's Molly's place down there. There's the plane crash over there. There's a fire that I can see all the way over that way. Uh, going around. Make sure that nothing's going to come up on me. Uh, that fire over there, I'm pretty sure that's the village. Uh, the one just outside the village hall. And now, looking around, I don't really see anything else here. 
And there wasn't a great deal over at Molly's place anyway, was there? Right, there was a few bits and pieces there, but there wasn't a huge amount. We've explored the barns in the middle. I haven't looked at those buildings over there on that side, so maybe we could head over that way. And is there anything over here? I, like, to be honest, I don't think there's going to be a lot else for us to go and discover. We, we, we're, we're about ready to be moving on now, aren't we? So I've done that bit. And now I need to go aftermath. Enter the mine and leave Pleasant Valley. Once you enter the mine, you will not be able to return to Pleasant Valley. So that is the last little bit. That is it. We are pretty much done with Pleasant Valley. We're done with the story over here. The you know, there is one bit that I haven't done, and that's gone up there. Plus, the other thing I haven't done is killed a bear. I was wondering if I could find a way to kill a bear, but I, really, the only way that you're going to do that is if you've got somewhere safe that you can go and shelter once you've shot it. You've got to be able to get somewhere that um, you, you can hide from the bear once you've shot him. Otherwise, it's just not going to happen. Right, you, you, you're not going to be able to do it. Now, I'm weighed down with a load of stuff. So, uh, honestly, I don't think carrying this torch around is going to be beneficial to us. So, we will dump it down here. Uh, place. There. Right, drop that one down there. We will go back indoors. We, we, we don't have a sprain risk or anything like that. So, we'll go back in here and... We can start to warm up a little bit. It's currently second half of the night. We're midway. We're, we're about three quarters of the way through the night. Maybe two thirds of the way through the night. We could do a little bit of food. So we'll do that. We'll eat a little bit more of our giant bass and see. Is that going to be enough to see us through? Nope. I st <laughs> still got some of that fish left. It's ridiculous just how much that that. That fish is it is quite ridiculous just how much that fish has taken from us. Um, I mean, yeah, it's it's good that... Um, let's, let's get some sleep. It's good that we found the fish. It's good that we had the fish and it, it has benefited us a little bit. We get a few hours sleep. Hopefully, we will also heal up a little bit as well. And then we can head off again. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering what I should do. Ooh. Right, it's daylight. We've got some daylight. Let's let's go outside. Wondering what I should do. I don't really want to go and do the survivor mode. I don't really want to go and do any of that this time round. Because I've either got to go into areas that I already know. And do it like that. Or I've got to go to zones that I've not been in before. And I've got to be honest. That does feel a bit like it's spoiling the story for me. It feels like it's spoiling the surprise. And that's the bit that I don't like. Don't like that sort of feeling of the surprise being spoiled. So I'm going to grab all of the cedar firewood here. And the fur firewood there. And that accelerant. And I'm going to go here. I'm going to start a fire. We're going to go with that one. And I go to there. I've got wood matches. Or the fire straw. So we'll go with that. Start fire. I get a nice fire going. I'm going to get a bit of water going. There's no <sighs> point really in carrying much in the way of firewood, is there? I had one of them. You know, I might end up wanting a bit more fire before I leave the valley for good. Unfortunately, we're going to have to put the adventure on hold there for just a moment. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.